Welcome to the Bob and Annie Show. I'm Bob. I'm Annie. Yeah, that's us. And we're here and it's beautiful outside. We're outside. Spring has sprung. Spring has sprung. And if you look around the yard, I have all my people here. Yes. That's maybe for another story, but I <laughs> refer to my little lawn ornaments as people. It's his people. My people. They're Come nice people. Here. Yeah. So yeah. It's going to be a good summer. <laughs> it's a good spring now. So we'll see. There's lots of stuff in the news. Lots of stuff I want to share with you. Okay, I'm ready. Um, you know, so every once in a while, somebody's like, you know what? I've had enough with my job. So Yeah, that was me. They're, they're gone. Like yeah. three years ago. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, Andreas Flatten of uh, Peachtree City, Georgia. It, he's feeling that right now. Okay. He quit his job at Walker Luxury Automotive, uh, Auto Works, in November. And uh, his boss was visibly annoyed, obviously. He's like, oh, i got to fill Andreas' spot now. You know? Uh-huh. So it became a whole thing. It was in the news there and all this thing. And he promised him a final paycheck of $915 in January. In January, okay. Never got it. Aww. So Andres has been a little mad. Then uh, one night um, around, just I think it was just last week, um, looks out in his driveway and there's 500 pounds of oily pennies. Ew! Which... If they still have pennies in the States, they we do. don't have pennies. We don't, yeah. If you add it up, it totals $915. So he got his pay. He can't argue. So they're in a wheelbarrow in his garage right now, and he's going to clean them up, take them to the bank. Well, I don't understand why the boss was that put out that he quit. I guess he's got to look for new people. I don't know. But you think he would be happy to get rid of him. Right, but the effort that that took to take and get all of the 900 some odd dollars into yeah. pennies and then cover them in oil. Oh, yeah. Like, that's... that's Business. A, <laughs> and get them all there. And... Well, Andreas, I think that you dodged a bullet by leaving that position because your boss is a... Uh, move to Canada. There's no pennies. <laughs> you can't do <laughs> yeah. that to you. You get it in nickels. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of other good stories in the news. What other did I see here? Um, there was a weird one. This is a, it's kind of a creepy one. This is from, like, I think it would be a horror movie in most places. Uh, you know how much I love horror movies. Yeah, okay. Well, this could be the next movie. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha Hartso, she uh, noticed in, uh, in her New York City apartment, she noticed that uh, there was a trace in, on the mirror in her bathroom. So naturally, she's thinking, someone looking through my mirror, what's going on? So, um, and so with some help of friends, she removed the mirror. And you thought, oh, maybe there would be a camera back there. No, she removed the mirror to find a hole in the wall. So then she climbed through the hole in the wall to see what was there. Um, it ended up, there's another apartment in there. There's another apartment behind her bathroom? Behind the, the mirror, there was a hole to bathroom. get through there. So she documented, apparently on TikTok, it's documented. She climbed through the hole, uh, went down, there's a hallway <laughs> there. She went down a hallway leading to the room at the end, and there's a whole other apartment with three bedrooms there. I don't think she ever watched any horror film ever, because you don't do any of those steps. You run, 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 run away. But well, what she did, she didn't run, she didn't panic, she just thought, this is odd. So <laughs> she went back, she put the mirror up, she went back to her apartment, she showered, got ready, and said, mm, maybe tomorrow I'll call my landlord and ask about this. He may not even know, I don't know. It's probably somebody that's been living rent free. It could be someone that, that sneaks in in a disguise and comes out like bosom buddies, remember they changed? <laughs> yeah, you know, so that's why the landlord has no clue. They could. People, people might be thinking differently of you now because you, I don't know if people at home have noticed this, you've changed your hair a little bit now, so. Why, you noticed, darling, yes. yes. Is there something up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm planning my great escape. Yeah. Yeah, you'll, you won't recognize me as I leave the house. Mm -hmm. You'll be like, that's not her. No. That's some other woman, some other random woman. Somebody might be... think that, some people think <gasps> that. It would be scandalous. Yeah. Maybe the neighbors will think that you having a little something something on the side. What's the the old phrase is <laughs> the uh, love is blind but the neighbors ain't. <laughs> <laughs> They're watching. They're watching. <laughs> they are watching. <laughs> I don't know. 
Um, well, the neighbor's dog is watching. Yeah. Yeah. But you're working on the... Uh, I'm okay. working on the transition. Yeah, transition of the hair. My transition to fully gray. Mm -hmm. It started. So stay tuned, friends. And what did I say? You were getting the hair stripped and you leaned against me today and I thought, oh, did it put a gray spot on me? I just thought it it's might not, strip It's not my contagious. Hair. If I wake up with a big gray spot. I've never had gray in my hair. <laughs> it's not contagious, honey, because you would have caught it by now. I would have caught it. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. wear a mask to bed. <laughs> and, a, and a shower cap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but uh, we'll keep going and, and transformations are happening in the spring. So uh, coming soon to a, to a screen near you, yep. we'll have some new hair. <laughs> Until next time, I'm Bob. I'm Annie. Take care. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Good show. The umbrella almost fell on us. Almost. <laughs> I'll get you next time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> love you. I love you.